couple of announcements. You know that parishes are in the process of reopening, and every parish is doing it according to uh, what they are uh, able to do at, at a particular time. There's no particular pace in which everybody is, is following. We hear of different parishes uh, beginning to have weekend masses and such. Um, in the coming week, um, uh, we will ha be having uh, times of private prayer on Tuesday and Thursday, and confessions also, the Sacrament of Reconciliation, next Saturday. This week, we will also be celebrating a funeral and a wedding, and it sounds like, you know, a funeral and a wedding, but these actually are hurdles, uh, and organizational hurdles, that we have to get through in order to uh, open up uh, to have uh, larger masses. Um, so I invite you to keep in touch through uh, our email flock note system uh, and also through our website, stmarybg.org, uh, for reopening events. For the reopening, we are in, in great need uh, of uh, having many volunteers between the ages of 18 and 65. We, the Archdiocese has given some okay to if you're 65-ish, so if you might be 66, 67, 68, uh, and are of good health, and also are fully knowledgeable of any risks you might be taking in volunteering, then that is okay So if you to, to volunteer. So if you, if you are 65-ish um, and you are healthy uh, and such, Please, and you would like to volunteer, please uh, feel free to, to contact us. As I had said, we need many volunteers to uh, help us to set up uh, for Mass and for other celebrations. Also to greet people. Uh, we are going to need to have a number of uh, greeters uh, that welcome people to Mass and to talk with each one, ask everybody if they uh, are healthy and if they've been sick, and also to help people, to direct people to sanitizing their hands as they enter into church. We also need a, a whole crew of cleaning people uh, to sanitize every pew and everything within the church between services. So it, it's going to take a small army that we're trying to gather, but we, we need more in order to not only do this once, but to do it a few times a day and also week after week. This takes a community to be able to reopen. This isn't just a few people, but our community is wanting to regather, but it also takes all of us to be able to step forward. So I, I do invite you uh, to please do that. Again, please visit our website for uh, um, further descriptions of all of the volunteer opportunities uh, at stmarybg.org. If you would like to volunteer, there's information on that website but you can send an email to parish at stmarybg.org. In other things also, last weekend, uh, our St. Vincent de Paul food pantry had its uh, drop-off weekend on Saturday and Sunday to drop off uh, food uh, to help uh, the pantry to continue to operate. Thank you for all of the incredible response that they, that they had. Um, but we always can use more, can't we? So if you would like to continue to donate more to um, the food pantry, if, you, if it slipped your mind, you can always drop it off at the parish rectory and we'll get it over to the food pantry. Finally, the summer session for religious ed uh, is uh, preparing to begin. The summer session, uh, as you might know, uh, it traditionally has, has always been a summer intensive. It happens uh, uh, in an eight or, eight or nine day period. Due to um, the pandemic and that we cannot uh, have as many students gathered together, uh, and actually uh, that the building technically is, is still closed, the summer uh, religious ed session is actually going to be an e-learning uh, exercise. Um, and it will take place over the course of a number of weeks rather than packing it into eight days. Uh, if you uh, have not yet registered and, and would like to have you or your child registered in the summer session for religious ed, again, please see our website 
and uh, the religious education department um, 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 click for that, uh, to look for that area to click on on our, on our website. Again, we, we continue to hold you in our prayers. Uh, and thank you for the prayers that, prayer requests that have been coming in. Uh, we also long as we celebrate this feast of the body and blood of Christ, we long to be able to, to get back together uh, as one body of Christ. But we also want to do it with the most care uh, that we can, uh, given we know possible risks and, and such. Uh, so please, let's continue to, to hold one another in our prayers.